Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to make this type of posters in Photoshop and this is really simple way to make this type of posters. So first off, click on create new then create an artboard. I will make 1080 by 1350 which is 3 to 4 ratio and make the resolution to 72 then switch the background color to black and then click on create. So let me add the image real quick. I got this image from Unsplash and will provide a link in the description. So first I'm going to adjust the image and align it to almost center to fill all the edges like this. Maybe I need to increase the size a little bit. This would be perfect. And then I'm going to slide it down to hide the hand. So for now we will be applying some text layers by pressing T on the toolbar. Then on top panel, you can change the font style and weights and can adjust the size of your text layer. So here, I'm using Helvetica Compressed. Download link for all the assets will be provided. I will write, let's say, mentally spiraling and then align it to center like this. So let's make it at the top as I am going to add other text also. You can create a square shape and align it to center to your artboard. So I to change the appearance from the properties from here you can adjust the stroke size and you can fill colors just take fill it with the, any color then use the shape to align the guidelines click on ctrl r to enable the rulers or you can say guidelines you can drag the ruler to artboards and align it to the shape like this now delete the shape and adjust the text layers Let's increase the text layer a bit and adjust the kerning from the properties. Now let's make another text layer. I will write something thanks Potka. Um, let's just reduce the text size. So these are the layers. You can make the text looks crunchy by changing the blending style from normal to dissolve. I may use this layer. So let's undo for now. Okay, so now we need to apply a gradient map above all the layers. I created plenty of gradient maps and here I'm using my gradient map pack version 3 which I will share the link down in the description so you can check there. I think this color would be perfect so let's apply this gradient map and yes you can tweak the gradient color from the slider and add colors also. Let me just quickly adjust the colors. Okay, so now double click on the text layer. This will pop up the layer style. Let me drag it up so text will be visible. From the underlying layer, hold Alt key. Then drag this pointer from the black side like this. You can see the changes to the text. Basically, this blends the text with the image or you can say it hides the text from the image. So click on OK. I will do this for the top text layer. You can experiment with the slide to get that effect. Now, I'm just looking for a perfect place to put this text. So let me add the other text layer. Here, I'm using graphic font. So let's do this effect again by double clicking on the text layer and adjust the slider. Add other text layers and now I'm going to add a textures and we'll share the texture pack in the description. For quick, let me fast forward this. You need to check which blend style suits your design. In most cases, lighten and screen works great. Let's just decrease the opacity and you are done. Now merge all the layers into one layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift E. This will be easier for you to further color correct your designs. Mostly I color correct from the camera row filter which you can find on the filter panel. This is pretty similar to Lightroom interface. So I guess most of you have used Lightroom before. There are some pre-made presets which you can apply. So let me do a quick color grade and finally I add some grains to make the design look flat. Finally click on export. Here is my export settings. Set the quality to great. You can adjust the image and canvas size from here. And check convert to sRGB is selected. Then click on export. So this was the process to design this type of posters. And also I created another version of this by simply adding a spiral image and blend it with the design. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out the other design tutorials from my channel and have a nice day.